Warning. Censorship. Warning. Censorship. I feel like I, I would really like to promote uh, this uh, term of pro-choice. I think people have forgotten about that with this everything that's been going on in the last year. That, you know, we do have choices and we have freedoms and rights and stuff like that to make those choices. And, you know, if I want to put a mask on, I'll put a mask on. Matt Brebner for Rebel News. I'm standing here in front of Dynamic Tattoo Studios in Kelowna, where Ryan Scarpino, the owner, claims that he's been getting ostracized by the community for, ironically enough, following the provincial masking mandate. A few weeks back, uh, there was a freedom rally at the park, at Stewart Park, which is the main town square here. Ryan got up and he gave a few words, basically saying that if someone, a, a customer wants to come into his establishment and wear a mask, that's okay. And if he doesn't want to wear a mask, that's okay too. Uh, simply because of that, Ryan was labeled an anti-masker by local media, which interestingly enough, by those standards, that would make our very own solicitor general, Mike Fonsworth, also an anti-masker because in the public health order, there are 10 sections in which someone is exempt from a mask. We're gonna sit down with Ryan to learn more, but before that, if you're a small business that has been detrimentally affected by these health orders in life with COVID-19 and you wanna tell your story, we wanna help you do that. So if you go to IWillOpen.com and reach out, we will make that happen. Hey guys, so I'm here with Ryan Scarpino of Dynamic Tattoos in Kelowna. Uh, Ryan, a few weeks back, Chris Skye was in town at Stewart Park and uh, you, you got up and gave a few words and it seems like that was the, the beginning of a bit of chaos for you guys. So what happened? Uh, yeah, I mean, I basically just went up there and uh, I mean, I let people know that uh, if you come to my tattoo studio that you have a choice if you want to wear a mask and that we don't enforce it at my studio and uh, the media went and I mean, basically it just kind of numbed it down a little bit and made it seem like I just don't enforce masks at the studio and don't want them here. And, uh, you know, and then, you know, people started leaving reviews and, right. and then, uh, called obviously the bylaw on us. The bylaw came by, noticed that nobody in this, the shop was wearing masks to call the health board. And then they called and kind of gave us a warning. And, um, I mean, so far that's, uh, that's all I've heard so far, and uh, but we're keeping the door open and stuff like that. So if they want to come back, they'll probably see the same thing anyways, because it's not my job to enforce masks. He didn't have much to say, really. I mean, he came in, he said, oh, nobody's wearing masks. And I said to him that it's not my job to enforce masks. And he goes, okay, and kind of just turned around and left. I it mean, was that simple? It was pretty simple, yeah. You know, I mean, he could have sat there and argued with me. I think he knew that I was ready to ready to have an argument with yeah. him if he if he proceeded to go any further with anything so were there any, there were no th threats or anything no um <clears throat> he did he did say he was going to report us to the to the health health place or whatever when i arrived here there's the, the front door is locked and the phone number was listed on the door is that is that typical yeah, practice well, i mean or? i i and during this pandemic i've tried to keep keep them out of here as much as i can because i mean the less problems I have to deal with, the better. But I mean, I'm at that point right now where I'm just kind of tired of all of this. And, uh, you know, um, I want to start making, uh, you know, making a little bit more of a stink about things and try and get things back to normal and uh, at least fight for the, the freedoms that we had before this pandemic, because a lot of things don't add up to me anyways. So. Sorry to interrupt. Not sure if you've heard by now, but big tech is trying to get rid of us. They're tired of us bringing you the other side of the story. It's so important that you stay in touch with us so that we can communicate with you and keep bringing you stories like this one. Go to rebelnews.com. Leave us with your email address so that we never lose touch. Thanks. So what is your official um, mask policy or mask mandate here at, at Dynamic Studios? Pro-choice. If you want to wear a mask, then you can wear a mask. If you don't, we don't want to wear a mask and don't it says it right on the door that we we let people choose and that we respect their rights tattooing has always held the highest standards and cleanliness and stuff like that with uh, bloodborne pathogens so it's no stranger to us to be in a clean environment and uh, take care of our clients and be safe what led you to make this decision to speak out um i just not, none of it adds up to me and uh, i just feel like uh, our rights are getting taken away daily and uh, if i don't do something then about it now then our children are the ones that are going to suffer and i have two children of my own and i can already see them suffering from all this there's no outlets for any of the children there's nothing for them to do and you know pe people are suffering mentally and you know all the other types of numbers that they don't tell us about are, are enormous and you know people need to look into that stuff i mean i i'm in compliance really i just respect people's exemptions and it's not my job to enforce that
And so, and it also says on the Emergency Act website that if somebody states that they have an exemption, that you're not allowed to ask them, you know, if they're exempt or, or, or ask them for any type of paperwork. So you have to take that for face value and believe what they say and let them go. So let's assume that when somebody walks in here with a, without a mask on that they're exempt. I don't even need to ask. Well, that's interesting. It's, it's definitely a different uh, culture in the Okanagan compared to the city. Have there been, have you noticed any other small businesses in the Okanagan area uh, that have been opening um, despite health restrictions, um, what the blowback's been like? Or um, I mean, there's been a couple of vape shops in town and stuff like that that have, uh, you know, haven't enforced masks or anything like that. But I mean, the only time they've actually really shut businesses down here was in the beginning of the pandemic. They was closed for about three and a half months and, you know, and they had everybody fooled in the beginning. So I think, I think now if somebody was to say that we had to shut down again, that it would probably be a whole different story. Do you have any uh, words of advice or encouragement for uh, small businesses that are, you know, maybe in a more precarious uh, position and are, are looking at, you know, bankruptcy or closure because of these strict measures? Um, I mean, I, I wouldn't have any advice when it comes to like financial stuff, but I mean, you don't, you don't have to enforce masks. You don't have to tell people to take it off unless, you know, you're worried or concerned yourself. But I mean, if you're not concerned, but you're, and you don't feel like you want to enforce masks, then you don't have to. Cool. Thanks, man. Yeah. Cheers. If your business has been crippled by COVID-19 health restrictions and you feel helpless, you feel like no one's willing to listen to you, we want to listen to you. So reach out to us at IWillOpen.com and we would love to help you tell your story to the rest of the world.